What's up, YouTube? Neil here, bring you another brand new cryptocurrency news and update. We have another recession day, and、uh, Bitcoin and all the other altcoins are still in a downward spiral. And we can see 300 billion market cap has disappeared uh, uh, in the in the two days, and、uh, we are currently at 40. Four hundred sixty billion dollars market cap,、uh, you know, dropped from seven hundred billion. So that's almost half of a、uh, you know money drop. And、uh, nobody nobody saw this coming. But、uh, you know, it is reasonable if you if you count in all the catalysts that propelled this situation to happen. And、uh, what my take on this is that you know all these bad news and all these catalysts, bad catalysts, have come together at this point, and it really took a toll on the price of all the cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin is still is still hovering around ten thousand.、Uh, it's nine thousand and eight hundred on on.、Uh, You know,、uh, GDAX, and it it has been up and down. Nobody really knows whether it's gonna consolidate or、uh, go go up or go down. Like at this point, you know, from my analyst, I think there are a few reasons why you know all this、uh, downward trend happened so quickly. First of all, we need to take into consideration that. You know,、uh, all the news events. Of course, the Korea and China ban, and、uh, ban on crypt cryptocurrency in general, and、uh, more and more regulations gonna come、uh, in these Asia regions. So, you know, all those big markets, China and、uh, South Korea, you know, they're. Their attitude on、uh, cryptocurrency will always be hostile because、uh, due to the politic,、uh, due to their politic, you know, environment and uh, uh, you know their social structure,、um, the government is gonna do everything they can to、uh, prevent Bitcoin prevail、uh, because they need. It's、uh, they need their own government to stabilize and cryptocurrency and all those anonymities are a big hinder to the rule and governing of these Asian governments. So you know, even if we can you know go into the future, however long, they are gonna impose more and more regulations on. To cryptocurrencies, and、um, you know it is what it is.、Uh, it is meant to happen. It is bound to happen.、Um, but still, I don't think you know in the long run, this is this is gonna you know destroy cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. You know,、uh, utterly. I think it will affect、uh, you know all those regulations. They will affect and restrain the price of those coins, but that doesn't mean the cryptocurrency and the blockchain technology in general will be hindered and will die. It's just it's still gonna be developed and still gonna make its progress, but、um, you know more slowly and steadily instead of、um, instead of. You know, going into monster rally like what we saw,、um, you know, in the last year. So monster rally is unlikely to happen again. And、uh, but but still, I think the market is gonna recover and、uh, it's gonna continue its development and、uh, continue、uh, to evolve、uh, in technology area. Um, 
Other than that, I think there uh, the other factor is the futures, and I don't know if you ever noticed that since the launch of the futures, the Bitcoin has been you know uh, moving sideways. Um, it hasn't gone up since the launch of futures because um, the futures launch was right at the point where Bitcoin was hovering around twenty thousand. Actually, nineteen thousand around that area, and since the launch of the future, it's been, you know, it really has a downward pressure on the Bitcoin, and if the Bitcoin is not going up, you know, all the other altcoins will not go up because everything follows Bitcoin, and if nobody, uh, you know, puts in, uh, puts money in Bitcoin. They will not put it in our coins as well. So, you know, the future has been a roadblock for the Bitcoin, and uh, many people, uh, including the institutions, the banks, they've made their fortune on it because they cannot buy Bitcoin uh, directly, and they need to fight against Bitcoin. So, uh, why wouldn't they come in? And uh, make money off Bitcoin, right? So they invented such a thing as Bitcoin futures, so they themselves can capitalize on Bitcoin and uh, make money off Bitcoin, uh, you know, as institutions. And on the other side, it also um, has downward pressure on Bitcoin. So this is like, you know, these banks, uh, they are very smart. And they know how to, you know, invent all all the kind of all kinds of ways to prevent Bitcoin become a real threat. And at the meantime, they are making money off it as well. So, you know, uh, all that I talk about the governments, the institutions, the banks, they are gonna do whatever they can to, um. To prevent Bitcoin, you know, succeed and uh, you know it, it is what it is. It's inevitable and it's a war. You know, it's a war and uh, you know, uh, nobody wants to lose and uh, it's gonna be bloody. Uh, we should all prepare for it. Uh, so. What can I say? And also another catalyst is the fall of BitConnect. I mean, nobody really sees this coming, and they are they just closed down their operations yesterday and refund their customers in BitConnect coin. Uh, which is which is virtually worth, worthless right now because it just plunged from three hundred two hundred uh, to ten dollars. Now it's twenty seven dollars, so ninety percent drop of their valuation. And uh, you know what? Uh, they are still operating, you know, their uh, platform and. Uh, BitConnect X is still in operation, and uh, I don't recommend you guys to buy BitConnect X. Um, you know it is too risky, and um, I don't think it's gonna succeed BitConnect X in the long run. And most likely, it's just gonna be another access scam because you know they already lost. Their main platform, and how, you know, how they can raise money again from another coin that doesn't even have any new features. I've heard some discuss that it's gonna be via exchange. Uh, not sure about that, but uh, BitConnect X, mm, you know, I think it's just a way for BitConnect to. Cash out one last time, 
before, you know, they totally going bankrupt. So this is just my take. But still, it's at $27. I have no idea why people are still buying it. It's obviously, you know, some people are buying it as a dip. So this is very interesting. But um, you can sell it at this price, but I don't recommend to because it's too low. It's, you know, everybody that has a loan in BitConnect um, has basically lost their loan because you can only sell the coin at $30. So uh, this is a big toe. And this is also um, did quite a damage on the market, in my opinion. Because, you know, all those market cap of BitConnect just just disappeared. And, uh, and you know, all this company, they have to sell their Bitcoin and give out the BitConnect coin, right? So if they are selling a huge quantity amount of Bitcoin, you know, the price is going to go down even further. You know, this is just one of the catalysts that contributed to such a downward trend of Bitcoin. And, uh, you know, all those bad things happen at the same time. So and that's why we can see Bitcoin just keeps going down. And who knows uh, where it's going to go from here. It might go even even lower in my opinion it might touch like eight thousand dollars or even lower before it consolidates and um, it also depends on what news is going to come out because the future is about to expire and uh, that might exude even more downward pressure on bitcoin so you know we might have even lower market cap and even more money being pulling out uh, at this time no, nobody can see where the bottom is and you really cannot see it from the chart because you know chart is just a tool it's not it's not a prediction or anything so but if you trying to buy in I think now is a pretty good time if you have cash on hand and you want to invest in the cryptocurrencies and uh, right now is a good time I would say because everything is selling at at least uh, you know 30 40 percent discount even NEO has gone down I mean everything has gone down This one is actually holding pretty well. I have no idea why Sia coin is still in the green. The only one. The one and the only. The one and the only. <laughs> uh, is, yeah, everything is selling at half discount. And, um, you know, if I have cash on hand, I'll be honest with you, I'll come in and buying up all these cheap coins but the thing is that I don't I don't sell at a, a down market because I don't want to lose money and if you don't sell you don't really lose money and but but if you don't sell so all, uh, all you can do is to wait and you know to wait for it to go back up and this is it so I don't really have uh, much cash on hand right now. I have some, uh, but I could have more cash on hand, so I could buy more. So if if it's me uh, at this point, I'm gonna buy starting from Bitcoin, Ethereum, and the Litecoin. So I would buy buy a portion of, for example, a hundred percent Bitcoin is what I'm gonna buy. For example, five five Bitcoin is the total amount of Bitcoin I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy 20% of Bitcoin at this point. So that's 
two coins. And same thing with Ethereum. If I want to buy 30 Ethereum, I'm going to buy I'm going to buy 5 to 10 Ethereum at this point. And same thing with Litecoin and every other coin. So, uh, never buy all at once or sell all at once. You always layer your orders. So, if it goes down even further, you're going to you know, get more profits and have less loss. But if it goes back up, at least you have some positions already. So, yeah, not much to say about the current market and not, not much you can do uh, besides buying. So, and I'm not too worried if it's gonna go down even further. That's good. I'm gonna, you know, transfer more money to GDAX and buy even more. If it goes back up, that's good also because you know we can do we can buy sell and do more things about it so yeah um, it sucks but this is not the end and uh, you know a big correction like this it's just like a big rally you know it just happens in cryptocurrency and that's why it is exciting because you can get rich or get poor really fast and it all depends on how you play the game name of the game and as to all the landing platforms um, I think it's gonna do some damage because of BitConnect but I still don't see the other land, uh, landing platforms going anywhere because you know if you understand what landing really is is that it's a uh, it's a cycle, right? A landing platform from the beginning to the end. It can only last for so long, you know. There's it's like a it's like a you throw you throw an object and it goes up, then goes down. Okay, so if you see BitConnect, if you invest. If you invest right at the beginning of BitConnect, you would still make a fortune, no, absolutely. But if you invest at the end of the BitConnect, you're gonna lose all your money. So, you know, some people came out of it, made made a huge fortune out of BitConnect, and some people lost a large amount of money. And uh, you know, it's it all depends on the individual and how you maneuver these systems so never ever put all your money in one landing platform and you know nev never land twice so i believe a cycle of a landing platform is six months to a year that's as long that's as further as a platform can last okay and uh it cannot last longer than that because no more investors are being sucked into the programs and it has topped so once you know uh, it tops and nobody's contributing more money into the system it's gonna collapse you know that's just how the how all the system all the system like this works and the easier you get in the more money you make and the, the later you're getting, the more likely you're gonna lose money. So if you're gonna land, never land on one platform, and never land, you know, after the the platform has existed for a long time. You know, you're gonna land, but you you're only gonna land at the beginning of the platform, and you're only gonna land once, and after they release your capital, you just pull all your money out, and this is it. And you move on to the next platform. And that's what I'm doing right here. So that's what I'm doing with all my other landing platforms. I couldn't care less 
because BitConnect has collapsed because I didn't lose any money. Um, and uh, I also have all the other diversified investment in the other lending platforms. And, you know, I have my money so diversified that I have at least 10 other platforms I'm in. And, you know what? I'm still gonna make money even all the other people are losing money because they don't know how to operate in these systems. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, it is what it is for every game. Some people is gonna win, some people is gonna lose. And it all oh, depends on how you operate it. So I'm just gonna end my video here. And, uh, you know, don't be too pessimist about the current market because it is just a cycle. It goes up and it goes down. So there's nothing to worry about it. And uh, with that being said, I hope you're doing well and uh, I'll see you in the next video.